to my channel, I'm Kidia, and today I'm back for the monthly opening, unboxing, and tasting of the monthly crate, Universal Yums! As most of you guys already know, Universal Yums is a snacks crate, but it's not your usual snacks crate. Universal Yums sends you snacks from specific place around the world, unless you have a little in a little tiny insight of what people around that place are snacking on these days. Also, in each crate, they send you they put a clue to keep you guessing of what the upcoming crate will be from. And last month's clue for this month's crate says there's more to this country than what's on the news rainbow cathedrals wood dolls and felt shoes plus meat jelly baked milk and black currant sweet so forget all the politics and get ready to eat this month universal yums has sent snacks all the way from the birthplace of Tetris, Russia! As a custom, you guys already know, my sister is here trying out this month's sna Universal Snacks with me. I know I usually do a lot of talking, but right now I just want to see what's inside this month's crate. Let's open this. Let's hope my oh, guess is... You just pierced whatever was inside the bonds. Oh god, I, I'm dangerous with weapon. Well, not weapons, but... Box whatever, cutters. Whatever that can hurt you. I hope my guess badly. is Badly. Right. Okay. Welcome to... Oh, you can't see it. Russia! If you've been keeping up with my videos, every month we get a... A welcome sign with the places flag on it this month being Russia and on the back of this flag we get a cool little checklist of all the snacks in our crate and you can rate them from best yum to most unusual to worst tasting and all that cool stuff and on the other side you get this little puzzle that you solve and right here at the bottom you get to know one of the items in next month's crate also in our crate we get this booklet with information about Russia, cool little trivia questions, and information about all the snacks we're about to try today. Also using this booklet you can solve that puzzle to find out what that one item on next month's crate is. Let's start off with... Um. Uh, don't expect me to know what it it's says on here. It's shish kebab flavored potato chips. Shish, oh, shish kebab. Oh, these are cool. They look like little, like, puffs like. Yeah. They don't have much flavor. They have just like a little hint of that shish kebab flavor. Like They're meat. good though. Like meat flavored. Next to try, we get these. Oh, this is holodits and horseradish husks. I love that I can't read anything on the packaging. No, I think we'll ever get Canadian scents. Look, and they look like little pieces of bread. Just like toasted. Condimented. They're very hard. Mm, I thought that would be your taste worse. Like right when you bite it, they're super crunchy. You get like this very like sharp like taste, and it feels like the whole snack, the whole thing is gonna be just like that whole taste. But really, it's just the beginning when when the thing touches your tongue and then it's over. And that's it. They're they're all right, I guess. Next, we get two of these. It's Koro Korovka fairy tale cake roll cake. Chocolate dipped baked milk cake. Wow, that's a that's a ton twister. That's it for salty snacks. They're all the rest the are rest sweet. is just sweets. Oh, that smells good. Okay, hold on, let me take it out so I can show what oh like 
Okay, I gotta show you guys this. If you can take it out. If I would stop struggling with this. Oh, so cute. it looks like this. And the bottom is covered in chocolate. It's also very soft. And good. Mmm. That is really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's mine. Hey, the chocolate's not melted. Yay! <laughs> We're actually just staying in the 80s over here now, so. Send the chocolate over. Up next, we have. Black Courant Saphir. Chocolate covered. What's black currant? 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 Marshmallow. I can't read anything on the packaging, well, so don't ask me. <laughs> Chocolate covered black currant marshmallow. Whatever that is. I gotta look that up now. Yes. This is what I'm it's talking about. This is the perfect time to send, send the chocolates. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Bruh. It's grapefruit chocolate bar. Dark chocolate bar with grapefruit. They really went on that all out and sent us a bunch of chocolates so this month. Grapefruit chocolate sounds pretty good because I've tried like orange. orange. So. Boy, looks rich. Yeah, it looks rich. It looks. It looks dark. And it has like a little jelly inside. Is it good? Mm. Very grapefruit. The marshmallow thing tasted more like dark chocolate than this did. No, I think this tastes like bitter, dark, very bitter dark. Next! Red October Crempish? Crempish? So it looks like this. Can you keep up? It has like little markings, like little square markings, and you can just cut it off. Right off. So, if I don't want to try a lot. Almost tastes like masapan in a it's bar chewy version. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. And like always, the yum bag. we get a yum bag full of good, hopefully delicious candy. This month being from Russia. So one of our candies and a That's yum really bag. Big. It's called the Forest Fairy Honey Peanut Delight. It's a good thing we don't have a peanut allergy. I was just thinking that because there's a lot of peanut stuff in this. So, if you have peanut, don't get the Russia box. Allergies and stuff. I wouldn't recommend getting the Russia. I've never been a fan of peanuts and chocolate together. I either like just chocolate or it's just peanuts. Never together. It tastes very caramelly. Lastly, in our yum bag is... Caramel Dreams. Caramel with lemon, fondant, and jam. That sounds like a lot in just this tiny little thing. Is it chewy? Is it hard? I think it might be hard candy. Caramel with lemon, fondant, and jam? Oh no, it's soft. Where's the jam in the fondant? They lie. There's lime in this, right? Or lemon or something? Yeah, That's it's lemon. like barely there. That little taste of lemon, that gives it a good little. Gives it a good amount because if it had too much, it'd just be not kind of like lemon heads. Mm. That's too much. So as that concludes our tasting of this month's Universal Yum's crate, it's time to find out the clue for next month's crate. And this month's clue for next month's crate says... This country is small, but there's a whole lot to see. Streets made of water and blue pottery. Plus pralines, sweet waffles, and, uh, and large wheels of cheese. Ooh. This is, um... Large wheels of cheese. You had me at cheese. Okay. You'll be sad when it's over and leave saying, More please!
whatever it is, you had me at cheese. If you might have a clue of what this clue is telling us we're getting yums from next month, please leave it in the comments section. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video and continue to do so. I really hope you'd hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and if you really, really, really did like this video or just feel kind of like, oh, maybe I should, you know, share this video, please share this video. <laughs> thank you so much for all those of you who keep coming back every month watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you for that support. I really love to hear from you guys, so if you have any suggestions, comments, or whatever it may be, please leave it in the comment section. And like always, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>